Hey everyone, a nerd named Mark here, and Geats is officially done. My finale review is live on YouTube, and I thank you to everyone who's been checking that out, as well as all the new subscribers. And because the show is over, you know what time it is. Because I've done this for Saber, I've done this for Revice. It's now time for part two, because it's been six months, of my ranking every form in Geats. Now, I'm actually continuing where I left off. Um, if you watch the last, I'll link the first video to this one. If you watch the first, the last like five minutes, I give you the rundown of everything um, for saving time. I'm not going to do that in this video. Obviously, you can see it anyways when it's loaded up. But I will say that um, with the how I did it last time and how I'm going to basically continue doing it is I do not rank any of the entry forms or any of the forms that are just the arms buckles like the shield propeller stuff like that that's just not really for me a form and also there's there's so many featured that it's like okay here's it now I go with the hammer here's like that's too much so it's just actual forms with the buckles like the race buckles like you know zombie beats you know, twin commands, stuff like that. Now, um, I may make some amendments to part one during this because my feelings have changed on a few of the suits. And, of course, every time I start recording, the kitten decides she wants to eat her food, so now she's going to be loud crunching and munching on her cat food. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in to ranking these. Okay, so really quick, I have another M blank tier below it just so my camera could fit here and it doesn't mess with uh, viewing all the other ones. Um, sadly, the second hit presentation mode, it put all my entry forms and raised buckles back up at the top of it. So I'm annoyed. <laughs> but the first real group of them is going to actually be the forms for the uh, supporters. So, yeah, because I'm also not doing the movie ones with, you know, Revive, Vice, you know, stuff like that. So, first up, we have Baroba's uh, big, bulky CG mecha form. I like, from the concept of it, the design of it, but I don't like it that much. And I'm probably going to put that in C tier. Because of the three, I like it the most. Kunes, on the other hand, like it was a cool scene seeing, you know, Nago on the back of the lion and then getting the spear. Like that was really cool, but I did not like it. And Kakura's frog design, just, I don't know. Like I get it, it's, I like the green on it, but it's just, those both are D tier to me. Um, and yeah, just D tier. Um, next up, we have two forms for Buffa. So we have Buffa with the Twin Command when he's just powering up the sword, which I like the helmet with the visor, but really it's not that good. I'm putting that in E tier. Like that's, and I'm a Buffa fan. So this is like hurting my feelings, hurting my soul, but it's just, no, not it. And then also we have just the regular Twin Command form. I believe this is with uh, Jet on the bottom because he doesn't have the cannons. So... I'm going to put this one, I'm going to give this a C tier. It does look good. I do like that silver with, you know, the helmet and the visor. And I am a Buffa fan, but that's just, that's it. Uh, next up, we have Nago with Zombie. And I don't know, something about, like, a lot of the Nago forms that aren't, like, beat. I don't, the helmet clashes to me with a lot of stuff. It's like the gold on it and everything else just don't, it doesn't set right with zombie. So I'm going to have to put that in E tier. Now, here we go. 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 Boost Mark II for Geats. This form is so damn good. So damn clean. I love the red. I'm putting, this is, this is an A tier suit for me, but at the same time, I, this is one of my favorite suits in the show. It would be in the top 10 
So I'm going to have to put that in S tier. Like, that is an S tier suit. Um, next up, we have the two Jamato riders. We have one where it's monster, one where it's boost. The Jamato helmets are really cool. I really thought those were pretty badass. Um, I do like the monster buckle a lot. If you could see from my rankings, like between A and B tier, there is a decent amount, and even S tier, there is a decent amount of monster up there. Monster hasn't gotten below a B tier rank for me, and that's not going to change because the Jamato rider with the monster gets that. Now, boost. I don't know. Said about the green <laughs> of the, on the eyes of the helmet, and because it's like the Jamato designs this and that, I'm getting like Christmas tree vibes, honestly. And I, I would have put the Jamato Rider with the boost in D tier. I just it's not about it doesn't. Oh, the fox. Okay, so the actual fox for Boost Mark Two. I like black and red. I like that a lot. That looks really cool. And you know, from a CG standpoint, whether it's the the supporters or the snap, I gotta say this looks the best. Uh, I'm gonna put that in B tier. And then we have Laser Boost. Ugh. I have a love hate relationship with this because we had some great thumbnail bait with the fights and the powers, and it's really cool. Uh, interesting first tension with you know Gene just walking over and you know just touching his desire driver like that, but. I'm going to give Laser Boost. I'll put that in B tier, honestly. I mean, it's a good form. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like the form, but it's not the best. I still think uh, Boost Mark II is, like, far superior. Um, So, looking at it, I'm not going to do any of the riders that were taken over and this and that. That have, like, the monster this and that. Like, I don't... Like, because it's basically just the form with the, the glare... To, like dome on it and like I don't eh, that doesn't do it for me so uh, I'm going to put uh, so we have Geats with Boost Ninja like I don't know I, something about Ninja from like just on the legs with any other buckle always seemed weird like I didn't like Boost with Ninja I didn't care for just Ninja as well. like the only time I liked Ninja was when it was for like the leg standpoint is when you know the Kawa got the fever ninja. So I'm gonna put this one in D tier because the saving grace of it is the upper half for Magnum is just great. We have more Jamato riders taken over. We have the Geats special that had the Ryuki stuff. Um honestly, those forms were alright. I didn't like them. Uh, I'm gonna put Geetz's probably in C tier. Buffa, I didn't really. The shoulders felt off to me, so I probably am gonna put that one in D tier. And I'm picky this time around. Damn. Um, so we have Nago. I believe this is. Bo I can't really tell because my monitor display. This is, but the fever buckle getting boost. Uh, once again, like I said, Nago's helmet is so... I love her. I love her helmet so much. And it just does... For me, personally, it doesn't work with a lot of the buckles. Um, like, boost with the feet. Like, man, it's just like how I did the other one, E-tier. Like, this is the same. It's going to get E-tier. At least I don't even know if that's boost. I can't really tell. They, they took... The, I like it when it's the suit photos when they're doing action shots. It's like, uh, which one is that? Uh, next up we have Geats with Ninja and Magnum. I mean, I like the Ninja suit honestly. I put this one D tier. Um, and then we have Nago with Beat and Boost. Um, honestly, uh. This one looks cooler because you got beat in the upper half, lower half boost. I like that a lot. This one for me, uh, I'll, I'll give this one a C tier. I won. That's, you know, it's good. I like it. Uh, next up, we have the Jamato Buffa Jamato with Zombie. Um, obviously, 
Buffett's whole thing with like the cracked helmet visor, like lens on one side. This, I like that design a lot. That was a B tier design for me. And then speaking of, we have Buffa's OP form when he had his little could destroy all of them. The gold horns, the cape. This is A tier. Okay, this is peak Buffa right there. And by the way, saw the new forms that's coming up in his little V cinema. Pre ordered that buckle. I'm getting that buckle. That that looked too good. Um also we have you know the weird dog phase one with the freaking ninja. Like I don't like that helmet at all. That's E tier. Um then we have Kawa from the uh Shinobi Ninja special. This one I I, I feel like I'm the minority. I didn't like it at all. Um I did like the purple on it. Just something about the purple and the green. Did not do it. Like, ah, uh, I put that E tier. And then from also, we got Punk Jack with the beat, which is pretty on brand when you think about Punk Jack's character win and everything else getting beat with the guitar and this and that. It was actually a nice, like, the the color scheme of the top half of uh, beat with the orange in the cape. Like, it actually worked. Um, I put that in C tier, actually. All right, some more entry forms. Um, then we have Buffa when he was still OP and he used the monster buckle with it. Um, I believe this is when he was fighting Archibald. Um, I don't like it. I don't, I never thought I would say this, but I mean, I did it cause Buffa with Magnum just looked awkward. Uh, that's going to get an E tier for me. Ugh. That was rough. That was rough. Uh, now we have the two different Geats forms. Well, um, you know, when he had Geats 9 and he had just like the one half of the buckle in, and then also when he opened it up and he had the full uh, Geats 9. Um, so with the half buckle, uh, it looked good. I liked it, but it was like this wasn't, you know, we knew this wasn't the final form. It was still really clean, really good. I'd give that a C tier. But the full Geats 9, oh my god. This, this, this form, so good. I'm going to put that one in A tier. That is, that is good. Um, so we have the other, another form of gazer too. Um, I like the helmet change. Uh, it's still, you know, a good freaking form. Uh, I don't like the visor change on it, so that's going to get A tier compared to S tier for when, you know, it was near him and he was just beating the brakes off of freaking Buffa. Uh, all right. We're going to talk about this form. The Bujin Sword form. Like, this is like peak. This is, this is one of the best forms. The, the Henshin, the freaking, uh, the, the finger crack. Like, that was, man, you get that Tokyo Ghoul in there. Like, this is, this is just S tier all day. Like, that's, it's just too good. And then, even though it's basically a pseudo, like, repaint from the uh, summer movie, which still haven't seen, because uh, we're probably going to have to wait until, you know, it, I think it's getting a digital release in another week or so, so it'll probably be a, like, not too much longer before we get subs for it. I like it. I like the design of it. I really do. I think I like that more than the regular Geats 9. And I would actually put that in S tier. Because that black with that blue is so good. So good. I can't I can't deny that cut that color palette. Um next up we got freaking Time Fire, Neon's dad, with the freaking fantasy buckle, and I'm not gonna lie to you, like one that it was it was good the whole scenes with him you know get away from my daughter that's not like it added to it but this form i'm i'm giving this one a tier honestly that is too good and now we're gonna go to premiums we got premium baroba and premium kekra the premium baroba i don't like that design at all I'm not gonna lie to you i don't like it it's not it, it, it's cool but i don't know it just something's off with it and i'm gonna give that one a d tier now, I could say the exact opposite for Kekra. 
because I like that green, that little gold in there, this and that. I like it. Uh, the premium Kakura is going to go to B tier. And then one of my, another favorite of mine from, I guess we could say like an upgrade final form is Nago with the fantasy buckle. I love that form so much. The powers, like I was, I even made the reference when I was reviewing it. Very Kitty Pride esque with the powers and the abilities. This is an A tier for me. Easily A tier. Her, like, it's it's good. It's it's easily one of my favorites. And we got a whole bunch of other like lackluster, unnecessary uh ones. Okay, so <laughs> why they do this? And I bring the like uh, I, I, you got Booja the Sword, which is OP. And why would Okay, we'll use monster. Honestly, it looks it's atrocious. It's such a bad like kit bash. It's like if I grab some of my freaking sodos and I'm like, oh, what happens if I take the monster torso upper torso and put out in Bujan sword and then change the shoulders but make the shoulder like no. This is E tier for me. You ruined a good form, honestly. Um and then also the same thing, we have Bujan Sword with boost. It just no, you're ruining a good form. So they have the pan back with Magnum, and then uh, honestly, we we have already like seen the pan with Magnum. He's already up there, so like I don't really feel the need to have to like do that again. Um, so from the special, even though I didn't see it, I've seen all the scans from it. I have the buckle up there on display. We have the Geats. Uh, was it Oneness? Um, I think it's a cool form, honestly. It's not the best, but I would give that I give that a proper B tier. We can give B tier, right? That's 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 polite. That that makes sense. That's a sensible ranking. And then uh The cleanest suit of the season. The easily one of the Top three best suits of the season. Easily, probably my top five of all of Rewa. We've got Regad and then Regad Omega. And honestly, Omega I like more than regular, but Regad itself, still, that is S tier. Like, that is, that is, that is S tier. And Regad Omega, like, with a, when Regad got all the freaking viewers and like the eyes all over the suit and then the helmet lifts up and there's an eye there like give me guyver vibes i was like yo this is s tier this is the suit of the season that is so damn clean and then whoever made this tier maker they already added in buffa's v cinema form and i forgot the name of it already that form already to me is freaking s tier that is S tier form. I love that form so much. It is so good. It is just clean. And oh. Um, but yeah, that's that's the rankings for part two. Now I'm gonna make some amendments now. Um, so looking back on everything, I may or may not have been a little bit, a little bit. A little bit too, like, I'm trying to think how to word it. Maybe I was a little too hard on some of the freaking forms, and maybe I was a little too lenient with some others. And I have to go back and I have to change, uh, cover gene. Okay, I put an A tier, thinking about it. I was thinking about it when I was getting everything prepared. And I was like, man, that's not A tier. That, that is probably going to drop down to B tier, honestly. Like, if I'm being realistic, it's just, I don't know. There's something about it. Just, And I know I'm only dropping one, but there's a big difference between an A tier and a B tier suit. Like, let's be realistic here. All right? It's not B tier. And then, also, I am changing B Geats boost or Magnum boost, uh, because that is A tier. That is not a C tier suit. 
that is a tier. I I like it a lot. So that's the amendments I'm making. Uh, let me just clear out the camera real quick so you could just see everything right there. These are the rankings. This is it. All right, so there you have it. That is my rankings of all the forms and suits, excluding entry in, you know, arm buckles for common rider geats. A lot of forms this season. I mean, obviously not as many as, you know, Saber was or this hat, but like a lot of forms, a lot of good moments. Like it's bittersweet to me. Like I rewatched the, f the finale again, you know, got me choked up. It was such a good show. Ref like I had, it had its low period, but looking back, you know, the, the beginning of the show for 16 episodes were just like so smooth paced out. So great. Yeah, there's some rough parts in there, but, like, they stuck the landing with the ending, and, you know, it's definitely a really good show, something I'd probably recommend to people, um, maybe if there was an abridged version, uh, but, yeah, it's a really good show, I'm sad to see it go, I'm looking forward to Guitar starting up, um, but, yeah, let me know what you think of the rankings, what were your S-tier forms in geats for you and also what were some of your least favorite ones but definitely i want to know what everyone's s tier ones were so let me know in the comments below i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video